The workflow function in Prolog can be used to route records between team members for approval. You can generate a workflow by template or by ad hoc. A workflow by template means the designated approvers and steps, the routing, are predetermined. A workflow by ad hoc is created by selecting the approvers and steps manually. In most instances, workflow can be configured to automatically start when a new record is created through the use of a workflow template. In our example, the RFI Discipline field on the General tab will be used as the criteria to automatically select the RFI Civil template and route this RFI to civil engineers for their input prior to the architect submitting an answer. The workflow template specifies the number of steps and the approver for each step. The screen shows approvers and the steps they are assigned to, and each step can accommodate more than one approver. The workflow grid tab displays this information in a grid-like format. If necessary, you can add or delete approvers from the grid by using the add or delete buttons. Approvers are notified by email at the appropriate step. In this example, both Fred Kubiak and Fred LaHood would be notified that one of them needs to take action. After their approval, the workflow process moves on to the next step, where Larry Pettit would be notified that his action is required. In a workflow grid, the step actions are recorded, as well as any comments made during the process. When configuring an ad hoc workflow, use the Add Approvers button to add new rows within the grid, and the Delete button to delete the listed contacts. And finally, use the previous and next step buttons to set up the order. You also have the option to use a visual workflow in certain browsers. The visual workflow is more graphical in nature and is color-coded to show the starting and approval of a workflow process.